My name is Nicole Abbott. I am a photographer, videographer, and drone pilot based in Tampa, Florida. I originally started college in Boston, where I'm from, and moved down to Tampa to attend USF, where I finished school. While I was at USF, I started working for a local newspaper that's an alt-weekly called Creative Loafing, and I still contribute to them today. I covered a lot of like art events and openings and mayoral events. That then led to me working directly for Bob Buckhorn. I was a huge hockey fan and, you know, sports in general, but really big hockey fan. Creative Living didn't have a sports section because, you know, they focus on arts and music and culture and polit politics, things like that. So I was very persistent in asking the old editor-in-chief if I could shoot at the hockey games. And my persistence paid off. Initially, it started with something I did for with the Lightning for Movember, where I made this time lapse of some of the players with them not smiling and then them smiling and growing their mustaches. And actually, the first time I ever worked for the NHL directly with the drone was in Tampa for the All-Star Game in 2018. So now I've been working with them the past two seasons, which has just been absolutely incredible. That week, a few days before that, was probably what I would have considered my other biggest drone job ever, and it was me flying at an active airport. So not only was I the first female drone pilot for the NHL, I was also the first female to fly a drone at an active airport in the entire United States. One of my proudest moments happened right here at Emily Arena pretty early in my career. I had just started working for myself and Mr. and Mrs. Vinnick held an art competition. I decided I was going to enter it and ended up winning first place. Not only did I win the competition, but they purchased the photo to start their art collection with in Tampa and it still hangs here today. So it's nice to be able to walk past it and see it hanging on the wall because it's a really good reminder of kind of where I started. Okay, so most memorable moment. Let's see, should I, should I tell you about the time I got mooned? <laughs> No, that's really not that funny. Um, maybe the time I got honked at by a 500 foot ship. Um, oh wait, okay, I have one. So, uh, I was shooting the Outback Bowl, so football. Shooting mostly video, shooting drone. One of the first jobs I incorporated drone into, I would say. It's a game day, it's a little more relaxed. We're towards the end of the game. The game goes into overtime. Wisconsin wins the game in overtime with a game-winning field goal. We rush out in the field as soon as the game's over. Everybody's just celebrating and running around and hugging and taking photos and throwing each other in the air. I mean, it was just, there was so much excitement. I'm running around and I had one camera on a tripod that I had joisted like way over the top of my head. I had a second camera that was around my neck. So I was filming from way above my head and then I was taking pictures at the same time, you know, trying to make sure I was getting steady shots. So I saw the coach of Wisconsin, Barry Alvarez, and I went, oh yeah, let me go get some footage of him. Everybody was around him and congratulating him. And as I walked up to him, the guys came from behind him and dumped the Gatorade over top of his head, the blue Gatorade. And I had more Gatorade on me than he had on him. Ooh, favorite places to shoot in Tampa. That's a tough one. There's so many good places. I'd say inside my favorite place to shoot is Amelie Arena, uh, especially during a hockey game. There's just so much action and so much energy between what's happening on the ice and the fans. So definitely hands down inside hockey Amelie Arena. Outside shooting, I would say any place near the water. I love taking pictures with the drone or video with the drone. Ooh, uh, my new favorite place to shoot is by the Skyway Bridge. Recently, I worked on a few different projects with ships coming in and out of the port and underneath the Skyway Bridge, which was a lot of fun.
one of the things that I absolutely love about Tampa are the people that I get to work with because, you know, they've given me a lot of opportunities and, you know, I feel like maybe just as much as I've taught them, they've taught me even more.